Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I really hope you like this video. Okay, so this video is going to be about how to prepare or get ready to actually start doing your puzzle. So these are just some of my um, tips and tricks that I do before I start a puzzle. But of course, uh, it's up to you which one of you, them you would like to use or if any of them is valuable to you. Uh, so the first thing, of course, before you purchase a puzzle, make sure you actually do have a place for your puzzle. Uh, some puzzles are quite big uh, and the puzzle I'm doing right now, I have to use the floor. So of course that's a possibility to do. But if you do not want to sit on the floor, then make sure you do have a table that's big enough. Uh, I actually recommend uh, buying one of the rolling mats because then you are able to roll your puzzle at any time and remove it from the place where you're actually doing your puzzle in case, for example, you need to eat dinner at your kitchen table. Some people actually do that. <laughs> the one I'm using, it's pretty good, but of course you can use anything as a rolling mat and as your rolling pin. So don't be afri afraid to find something in your house. Um, but this one is uh, good because your puzzle actually sticks to the surface a little bit. So the puzzle pieces don't move around. And that might be um, a good tip when you're trying to find something at home uh, to roll your puzzle with. Another good thing is to look at the bag before you open it. When you do open the, the, the box with the puzzle in, there's often a bag with your actually pieces in it. Uh, there might actually be a serial number on this bag if you look closely. I don't know if every puzzle comes with the serial number, but if it's a big one, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, this serial number is, is in case you lose one of your puzzle pieces and then you can contact the company where you bought the puzzle and you can get that piece back. So make sure to look at your bag the next time you open a puzzle in case there is a serial number. Uh, also, if you do uh, get a larger puzzle, it usually comes in more than one bag. And these bags are actually already divided up so you don't have to mix them because one of the bags will be one side of the puzzle and the other side or the other bag will be the other side of the puzzle. So if you don't want to do that big of a puzzle, make sure not to blend the bags. Another tips, depending on what kind of puzzle you have, uh, is the puzzle dust. So you might not have heard of this before, but you know when you start puzzling and you get your hands get kind of dirty under your nails. That's because of the puzzle dust. So what I usually do, I get a kitchen strainer over an empty trash bag. Make sure the trash bag is empty because you don't want your puzzle pieces to fall into something nasty. Uh, so I get an empty trash can and then my kitchen strainer and then I just put a couple of pieces in there and then just move them around so the puzzle dust falls into the trash can. This will just make sure that you don't get that much puzzle dust. Of course, there will always be some left, but at least you get most of it uh, away from the puzzle. Uh, another tip that I use uh, is that I will take some board games. I will use the boxes to put the pieces in because then it's easier to move them around when I'm actually doing the puzzle. So you can use any board game. Of course, the bigger the better because then you have more room to lay the pieces out. Uh, but if you don't, just use whatever you have at home. You can also use actually the board game itself on the back side. I find that's very good because then it's actually a darker surface and you can easier, uh, easier see the pieces when you're actually picking them out or if it's some of the similar colors. And of course, before you start doing the sorting and start doing the puzzle, I would recommend really studying the picture. Study, study, because then you will know what you're looking for, uh, what kind of colors you're looking for when you're actually sorting the pieces before you start. And what might be the easiest way to start your puzzle? So of course, uh, a lot of puzzles the edges are the easiest part and you can just 
gather all the edges, but I would recommend while you're gathering all the edges, actually start sorting the rest of your puzzle as well. As you can see in the video that I made, uh, I figured out around five or six different things that I wanted to concentrate on and then put them in different piles. So I have that for later. Uh, also, my puzzle doesn't really have any edges. It only has one edge and then the rest of them are actually, um, they can connect to another puzzle. Uh, so that's why I'm not concentrating that much on finding the edges, but I'm actually going to start with the film reel that's on the bottom of my picture because I find it that that is the easiest part of this puzzle. So that's why I'm laying them out uh, one by one instead of just in a pile because I know I'm gonna start with this part of the puzzle and therefore I don't wanna do the extra job of actually laying them out afterwards. But I would concentrate on the edges. Uh, if there's bigger objects on the picture, uh, for example, in this picture, you have Ariel and Sebastian, which is both red and quite uh, large objects. Otherwise, you also have the boat, which you can see that I uh, sorted out. And of course, the flamingos uh, up in the corner, pink, they're pretty easy to find as well. So these were one of the main objects that I was concentrating on when I did the sorting. But also the sorting is for me, not the most fun part. So if it's not completely right the first time, it's not that big of a deal. Of course, as long as you have most of the pieces there, you're gonna be able to do the puzzle just fine, or at least start the puzzle just fine because I find it that I have to go through the, the puzzle pieces a couple more times just to finish the puzzle. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's the first one on my channel, so please be nice in the comments and I hope to see you again. Give this a big thumbs up if you would like to see more of these kind of videos or other stuff.